Shalom, beloved. A word. We are reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. One of the things about the robes of kings is the longer the robe, the more majesty and honor the king was known for. One of the other things about the kings were anytime they conquered another king, they would cut off a portion of their robe and add it to the back end of their robes, showing their power and their majesty. But when we look at Yahuwah, the Most High, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. It's showing the power, the majesty unequal of the Most High's glory. One of the other things that we notice in Isaiah 6, 1, that when the prophet Isaiah had this vision, it was in the year that King Uzziah died. King Uzziah. What did King Uzziah do that he's mentioned right before the vision of the prophet Isaiah, who saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple? When we go, to 2 Chronicles chapter 26, starting at 16th verse. King Uzziah, who had many victories, who had followed in the ways of the Lord, he became, when he became strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction. He transgressed against the Lord and went into the temple of the Lord to burn incense upon the altar of incense. The priests went in after him and with him 80 priests of the Lord that were valiant men. And Azariah the priest went in after him to tell you how intense his behavior was, his pride going in that temple of the Lord that was only for the priest to enter, to burn incense. King Uzziah became proud and he went in and 80 priests went after King Uzziah. They withstood him and said unto him, it, it pertaineth not to the Uzziah to burn incense. But Uzziah became incensed. He was angry. But while he showed his anger with the priest, leprosy arose upon his forehead and he left out of the house of the Lord. He would spend the rest of his days separated because leprosy broke out on his forehead and he had to dwell among the lepers. But this happened, beloved, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up, said the prophet Isaiah exalted, sitting on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. The robe is the power, the glory, the majesty of the Most High. It filled the temple. Beloved, we are to honor, as a matter of fact, before I go any further, we're going to say a prayer together. 
Yah, my ancestors, Yah, Abraham, Isaac, and Yasharel. We come before you humble, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto thee. O oh, Father, high, lifted up, exalted, glorious Father of all that is, was, and shall ever be. El Elyon, the mighty God, our Father, we recognize to whom we belong and whom thou art. There is none beside nor beyond thee. Thou art all in all. Father, Son, the word of the Most High, and the Holy Ruach. We come before you today recognizing your power, your glory, asking for your grace and your mercy upon us. And let thy spirit fill us, Father, as we give you praise, for thou art deserving. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, thy word of life, given that we might know and follow the truth of thy word and the spirit of truth be upon us. In the mighty name of Yeshua, we thank you, praise you, honor, and receive this blessing. Amen. In the year the king Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on the throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. It filled the temple. We, beloved, when we look at it, we look at 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of Yah dwelleth in you. It dwells in us, beloved. When we believe and receive that glorious Spirit, we also know that all power, is in his hand. There is no kingdom. There is nothing that he does not rule. King Uzziah went in to defy him. He became proud and lifted up. And that robe, that power, that glory upon him was taken away. Added. As the father's robes filled the temple. They fill the temple. There is no king, no power that can match it. When Job found out that he had lost all his substance as well as his children, he rent his robe, fell down upon the ground and worshiped the Most High because he knew to whom all power belonged, all power. And when that king Uzziah raised up to dishonor him by going into his temple, unrighteously full of pride to do what he wanted to do, he was humbled and left and died in disgrace with leprosy beloved. When we look closer in the book of Job, Yah gives us some examples of who he is. He's speaking to Job. When Job makes statements to him, the Most High responds, deck thyself now with majesty and excellency and array thyself with glory and beauty. Many people become proud and lifted up like King Uzziah. But the creator of beauty, the creator of glory, there is no glory beyond his glory. He speaks again further, cast abroad the rage of thy wrath and behold everyone that is proud, everyone and abase him. Isn't that what he did to Uzziah when the leprosy broke out on his forehead? Mm. Look on everyone that is proud and bring him low and tread down the wicked in their place. Yes, beloved, yes, yes. Hide them in the dust together and bind their faces in secret. We have seen this, beloved, with our own eyes. Yes. When they die, when they die, and they lower them either into the grave or cave, 
some people get put into those, I forget what you call it in the wall, hide them in the dust together and find their faces in secret. When we prepare the debt for the services, they cover their faces. Yes, this is what the most high is telling us. But look at the power of who dwells inside us. I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. When kings come in, they are known for the length of their robe to show their grandeur, their majesty. But the almighty, the all-powerful, his robe filled the temple. It filled the temple because he has all power. There is no king, there is no problem, there is nothing that can withstand him. And that spirit of the most high that filled the temple below. It tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, know ye not that ye are the temple of the most high and that the spirit of Yah dwelleth in you. When we give honor, when we acknowledge that Yah is all in all, all power, when we humble ourselves and recognize he truly is high and lifted up, when you imagine the sight of it, it makes you want to glory and worship in him. We serve a mighty, mighty God, all mighty beloved. When he saw the Lord sitting high on the throne, the train of his robe filled the temple. Other kings would cast off as they conquered people, kings, and kingdoms. They would cut off the ends of the robes of the kings they conquered and add them to the ends of their robe to show their power and their glory. But there's no king whose robe was so great and so vast that the train of his robe filled the temple. It filled it, beloved. That same spirit of the Most High dwells in us. Let us glorify and honor him and remember to whom we belong and to whom we are committed. And there is nothing too great for him. This is to give praise, honor, glory, and recognition to the most high God. And we, his people, come humbly before him, begging for mercy and forgiveness of our sins and the sins of our ancestors. And to state together with one heart, one mind, one thought, one spirit, we are thy people, Father, and we ask thy merciful forgiveness of our sins. We glorify thee in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of life, the word of you, Father. And in him dwelleth the spirit of truth, the spirit of prophecy. We know even when King David was running from King Saul, Father, and you were blessing him and keeping him. And he crept up on King Saul and cut a piece of his robe. Even then, in that word, it was the spirit of that prophecy. Because King David was going to be a greater king than King Saul. And he took a piece of his robe, Father. We recognize and honor you, Father. For there is none above you and none beside you. In this day, we acknowledge we are your people and you are our Father. Hear us as we give praise to you. Amen. To our beloved. In the year the King Uzziah died, he had been blessed and successful in following the Most High but he became proud. And in his pride, he decided to go into the temple where only the priests were allowed. 
and leprosy broke out on him and he died a severed and cast away disgraced man. It was in that year that the prophet Isaiah, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seating on the throne, seated on the throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Yes, beloved. That same temple that Isaiah is talking about spiritually, we too are the temple that the Most High filled. And the train of his robe fills the temple. There's no room for any other to dwell within us. There is no Yah but Yah. There is no God. There is no space to bring in another because the train of his robe fills our temple with the glory of the Most High as we recognize and honor him. And as we humble ourselves, he lifts up our head and gives us blessing. A word, beloved. Shalom. <laughs>